Ladies and gentlemen, this time we present one of our featured attractions of the evening, 12 rounds of boxing for the USBA Junior Welterweight Championship. This bout is sanctioned by the United States Boxing Association, the supervisor, Daryl Peoples, along with the Nevada State Athletic Commission, the chairman, Dr. James Nave. I present to you the judges who are scoring this bout from ringside, Carol Castellano, Dalby Shirley, and Al Siciliano, and introducing to you our referee in charge, Mitch Halpern. All right, fans, here we go. Once again, the USBA Junior Welterweight Championship scheduled for 12 rounds of boxing. Introducing to you first the challenger on my right, fighting out of the blue corner. He enters the ring wearing multicolor, multinational trunks and fighting out of and representing his hometown of Sacramento, California. He weighed in at the junior welterweight limit of 140 pounds even. His record includes 45 wins, five losses, one draw with 32 big wins coming by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the popular former three-time world champion introducing Tony, the Tiger Lopez. to you his opponent of cross three on my left fighting out of the red corner he is the defending champion entering the ring wearing the red trunks with gold trim he is fighting out of miami florida and he weighed in at the same weight as his opponent at 140 pounds even his record includes 38 wins 20 losses four draws with 26 wins coming by way of knockout Introducing the former IBF lightweight champion of the world, tonight defending his USBA junior world title, introducing a fearless Freddie Pendleton. All right, we're just about set to go here as the referee Mitch Halpern brings the two fellas into the center of the ring. This is a 12-round USBA welterweight championship. Freddie Pendleton and uh, Tony Lopez, you see the tail of the tape there, where you see that uh, Pendleton is uh, about an inch and a half taller, their weight and age is exactly the same. So not a lot of difference here. Tony Lopez, a real seasoned professional, he's fought them all. Last time out, he uh, lost a decision in uh, December to Julio Cesar Chavez. And Freddie Pendleton is a very colorful, uh, very flamboyant type of fighter. And he stole the show at the press conference earlier this week. But he's in against a guy with an awful lot of experience. Tony, and they call him Tony the Tiger, as you see his multicolored trunks with a tiger on it. He's a very seasoned professional, but he's at the stage in his career where he knows he's going to be retiring soon. He'd like to grab a win here, take this USBA welterweight championship from Freddie Pendleton. And he's putting pressure on Pendleton right here in the first round. Don't forget this is a 12-round fight. Three judges score the fight. There's no three knockdown rule. No standing eight count. And the fighting cannot be saved by the belt in any round. And he got hit with a shot. And it was one of those delayed reactions that took a second, like the electricity going through the body to hit the brand. And his legs crumbled from beneath him. A good shot by Freddie Pendleton here in the first. And Tony's going to be in a bit of trouble as he walks into the left hook. Wow, with the right hand, another big left hook got him. And he's wobbled again. Freddie comes with the uppercut, the right hand, the left hand again. Look at these wild shots here going over the head. And a few of them are landing. And now finally, Tony Lopez hangs on. He's still wobbled on his legs. See those legs? He's trying to bounce to get the elasticity back in those knees, and it's not there. Tony pushes him off. He's back on his heels, and Freddie knows he's got him in trouble. There's plenty of time remaining, as you see. And again, back on his heels is Tony Lopez. Freddie just trying to size him up for that big uppercut. Just missed that one. Wow with the right hand. Misses with the left hook. And Tony has the wherewithal to grab on and try to extend this thing. Freddie looking to land the big shot here now. Loads up with the right hand. Tony ducks it and walks into the uppercut. Gets out a right hand of his own. And Freddie backs off just a bit. Jab in the face. Boy, Freddie looks good here in round number one. About a minute to go in the round now. Big right hand raises the forehead of Tony the Tiger Lopez. The 
This is a nice outing so far for Freddie Pendleton to drop Tony in the first round. I bet you want to see the professional Tony is, but he's at that stage. Right hand the boy and again and drops him. Counts up to four and five. He's all right. His eyes are clear, but he's back on those heels again. Referee Mitch Halpern looks right into the eyes. You got about, do you see the time remaining there in the round? About 20 seconds ago, Tony lashes up with a shot of his own. Freddie trying to hold him off with that jab, trying to drop him again. Remember, there's no three knockdown rule, but if he gets hurt, the referee can stop the fight anyway. Inside of 10 seconds to go now in the first round. An action back first round here for the USBA Welterweight Championship. That's the 147 pound division as the bell ends round one. The crowd likes it. A good action back first round. All I want you to do is stay yes, short with those punch bags. As both fighters were in that 140, I get so excited with these fights of that. There's Tony Lopez, former three-time world champion. It's Sal Lopez Jr. in there with him. Tony Lopez, there's no relation. Tom Facetti and Jacob uh, Duran uh, all work in that corner. We'll show you the first knockdown. And bang, right there, the right hand catches him and it's delayed. Look at the way the neck is going. And then the legs just make him collapse. The right hand in that first knockdown. He caught him. Now watch this, the second time he goes. Nice jab from the right hand, grazes it right up on the kind of the forehead towards the ear, dropping him. The first knockdown, much more vicious than the second one. All right, here we go. This is round number two. Bob Sheridan here at King Vision. Freddie Pendleton in the red trunks with the gold trip. They call the flag trunks. You've got Tony Lopez, who's down twice in the first round. Tony looks like he's totally rejuvenated right now. He walks into a right hand by Freddie Pendleton. His legs are out there now, and Mitch Halpern is going to have to make some serious decisions soon. Tony says he's okay. Mitch uh, rubs the gloves off, checks the eyes. Freddie moving in for the finishing blows of this uh, fight, I believe. Because with a leg shot in three knockdowns, it's just a question how much more punishment he can take. That's the fourth time he's down in the fight. Tony says he's okay. And remember, there is no three knockdown rules. His eyes are clear, so Mitch Halpern knows what he's doing. He says, and I can go, I'm okay. All right, here goes Freddie Pendleton. How much more punishment than a guy at 32 years old wants to take? This kid's some kind of tough, but he's back on those heels again. He tries to come out with that left jab, and Freddie comes right through it. Watch him blow up the right hand, catches him to the left side of the head again. Freddie looking in to try to finish this thing with one big shot. He's good with the uppercut, so look for that. Bang, straight right hand, just goes over the shoulder. Here he comes again, Freddie looking in there. Misses with the right left hand that goes past the cheek. He's trying to get that head moving one way and then catch him with the overhand right. Bang, comes up with a nice shot. It's Tony Lopez. That hurt Freddie. Freddie able to take that shot because the zing really isn't in there. They look good, but they don't have the zing that Freddie Pendleton has. This is round number two. He's been down twice in the first, down two times in the second round. None of them really put him on the strange street, as they say, but Freddie wants to finish this thing. Here is Freddie Pendleton from Miami, Florida, 38-20, looking for a world title shot. And he feels that at age 32, he's got to get it this year up real early next year. And he wants to finish off the other 32-year-older, Tony Lopez, in grand style. And so far, he's doing it. Lopez, again, a very veteran fighter. And Felix Freddy with plenty of zing in his punches here at the MGM Grand in Las Vegas, Nevada, here on King Vision. Some kind of punishment here being doled out the first couple of rounds by Freddy Pendleton. Tony ducks away from that light left. You see him far, what he's trying to do is get in position for that, that right hand. Bang, good with that left. His left uh, is beginning to step up into it, it's become a real punch. Freddie knows he's got this thing in command, but this guy isn't somebody you want to fool with. Tony is a very veteran ring warrior. Keep it up, Tony. Keep it up. And it's What's coming close to the time where he's going to be able to escape working, this second round all right. Remember, you can't be saved by the bell in any round, which means if he goes down, the count continues. All right, the bell ends round number two. Another good action-packed round with two knockdowns. You're doing real good. Give him a little sponge. You're trying to get the Yeah, and come over with a right hand. We take a look at right. the corner of Freddie 
Start hooking off the jab. Okay. Had to set up the right hand. Okay. Double it. You hit him with it. Go to the body a little with him. Okay. On the inside, if he gets, I don't want you picking up. All right. Down and out to the side. Take the breath, baby. As you listen to that, we'll breath. show you this knockdown. One more. Okay, take the one. Uh, time. I know you just warming up. All right, this is the second knockdown now. And uh, you can see that uh, Tony is in a heap of trouble at this stage here in the second round as he's caught again, uh, not as uh, heavy as the first knockdown, the uh, punches. We're coming up to round number three now. Four knockdowns in the fight so far, all scored by Freddie Pendleton. Not really any punishing ones except for the first one where he really it was a delayed shot in the first round when he went down. Here we go now with round number three. It's Pendleton in red and uh, Tony the Tiger Lopez in the flag colored trunks. That's the flag of the United States and the other one uh, the Mexican flag with the Tiger on it. Misses with the left, steps into the left with that jab. Tony seems to be totally recovered right now. Jumps right back up. Wow, look at this. He gets surprised and caught. Remember what I said about this ring-wise uh, veteran fighter? Pendleton down now in the third round. He's not hurt at all. At least I don't believe he's hurt. He comes back with a wild shot of his own that misses. His eyes are a little bit wider now. You can tell that the adrenaline is pumping. And Wow, what an exciting fight so far. Five knockdowns in three rounds. And when you have a seesaw battle where one guy goes down three or four times and another guy goes down, whoo, you got to love it. Pendleton trying to load up with that right hand to catch Tony. I thought we'd see him throwing more uppercuts. He's got a real good uppercut, but his uh, straight uh, left hand and straight right. Freddie almost got caught again there. He didn't, oh, a right hand got him. Look at these guys exchanging punches inside. Freddie Pendleton with that light left, misses with the left hand. Look at him trying to load up that right hand, just barely grazing the jaw. Tony Lopez just able to slip those punches. When he isn't able to slip the punches, he's going down again. But how about the fact that he had Freddie down already in this round, and Freddie is totally rejuvenated. In fact, that's conditioning. And now referee Mitch Halpern warns about uh, the heads coming together. And a nice fight going. We don't want a cut to stop this thing, especially an accidental headbutt. Freddie's uh, slowed down his pace quite a bit, but he's looking to load up. And Tony's on the attack. Look at this. Uppercuts, body shots. Catches him with an uppercut inside. He's kind of really got the legs a, li a little bit uh, rubbery of Freddie Pendleton right now. Freddie's not 100% there right now. His legs are slightly gone right now, and it looks like he just has him rejuvenated now. But right after that inside shot, he got caught with an inside uppercut, and... Uh, and now Freddie is really wobbled. He fights back like a tiger. Look at these shots. There's two men that really want it bad. Freddie, I thought, was really in a lot more trouble. And all of a sudden, he starts coming back. Woo! The bell ends round three. Freddie was in a lot of trouble, and the crowd loves it. show you when Pendleton gets knocked down he just bounced that left off the chin and then he catches him behind the head and he's like off balance and then hitting the back of the head not a big knockdown but still enough to make it a 10-8 round and look at Tony on the uh, assault here and he actually because the camera angle is so tight here you can't see that the legs at this particular stage are gone Freddie's in a heap of trouble right here you got the inside fighting, and all, all you missed was that there was kind of a one uppercut that caught him, and his legs were totally gone. All right. All right. 
This is round four. It's scheduled for 12. The way it's going, I don't think it's going to uh, last the whole way. I can't see at this pace for it going much longer. Round four from the MGM in Las Vegas, Nevada. Freddie Pendleton had Tony Lopez down four times in the first two rounds. Then he got knocked down himself in the third round. His legs were totally shot about three quarters of the way into the third round. And then you just see him here in the fourth. Gray is Tony. Tony's all right. Freddie trying to fight back really gamefully. The jab in the face of Tony, but not really uh, connecting like it was in the first. And as I say that, one gets inside and uh, does clip him on the chin. This is a tough fight for both guys now. And you can see when uh, Freddie Pendleton started kind of hot-dogging it in the second round after he had Tony down four times, I made the comment at that stage, you don't want to fool around with a very, very ring-wise guy like Tony, uh, the Tiger Lopez, because he's tough. He just caught him, though. Tony's hanging on for dear life now. He's ready to go at any second. The referee can separate him. He'll go. Freddie will jump right on him again here now. Freddie is in trouble. Uh, not Freddie. Uh, Tony's in trouble. And he comes back and hangs on. You see the legs? Trying to get the elasticity back in those knees, and it's still not back yet. Walked into another right hand. Tony's fighting on a lot of heart. Let me tell you, he's got some kind of courage. Boy, this has been a real exciting fight. When you get these kind of knockdowns and guys in trouble, these guys, uh, their legs have been gone about a dozen times, alternating between one guy and the other, and we're only into the fourth round. Pendleton loads up the right and just barely catches him on the jaw. He didn't catch him flush, but uh, Tony would have gone. That one just grazed the jaw as well. Tony fights back, though. Every time he gets hit, he gets some sort of adrenaline rush that uh, keeps it coming. Uppercut catches him. Just as the referee was warning him. Oh, he goes to shake hands. And he gets caught with a left hook. Right hand catches him. Remember what they say, protect yourself at all times. And while he hasn't gone down yet, he's ready to go again. Freddie trying to get some punching room. Inside of 10 seconds to go in the fourth round. Freddie cut him with a real good shot. Another good shot catches him. Wow, with a right hand goes over the head. And the bell ends round four. Another brilliant round of boxing. You see, late in the round, when Tony got in trouble, you see Freddie Pendleton catches him with that right hand. And you see him hanging on. And Mitch Halpert tries to separate the two fighters. And Tony tries to come back, and he catches Freddie pretty good. Man, this is some kind of fight. Bob Sheridan here on King Vision. This is for the USBA Welterweight Championship. That's the 140-pound division. Freddie Pendleton in the red trunks, Tony Lopez in the multicolored trunks with the flags on them. Freddie was down in the third round, but Tony was down four times in the first two. And both guys had their legs uh, starched, you might say, or at least rubberized in the fourth. This is the fifth round. To the right of your screen with his back to you now is Freddie Pendleton, and now to the left of your screen. That's Tony Lopez, the Tiger. And this is turning into a tough fight. Low blows. You see the referee, Mitch Alpert, say, keep him up, guys. They had had a clinch that they were separating in the last round. And coming out of the clinch, Tony went to make a friendly gesture, banging the gloves, and he got nailed with a left hook. Freddie's all business in there. He's not looking to make friends until this thing's over. Pace of this one. Good. Tony the Tiger in the multicolored trunks with all he can handle. Look at this. Freddie catches him with a few shots. Tony's ready to go again. Freddie wants to land one flush punch. 
to finish this thing. Instead, he elects to push him over. Mitch Alpert looks into the eyes to make sure he's okay. Not again with the right hand. I'll tell you one thing, Lopez is some kind of tough. He gets hit, he gets the adrenaline rush. If he doesn't get down, the worst thing that can happen is, I guess, if you hit him. Right now, they've expended so much energy. Felix Freddy in the red trunks trying to look for an opportunity to land a big shot to take this thing out in a hurry. But Tony Lopez, with the courageous heart and attitude that he has, you just uh, never count him out in a fight until it, it's all over. You hear the old sports that it's not over until it's over. But when Tony Lopez fights, it's true. And Fred, he's beginning to find that out because this guy's in tremendous physical condition. Coming in here, you caught with a right hand by Tony that time. Tries to answer back with a light left. Tony has uh, all of a sudden got another adrenaline run. He's getting hit an awful lot, though. And Freddie trying to slip those punches as he comes in and looks for the opportunity to land a big shot. He went for it there, and it just grazed the nose of Tony Lopez. Remember, we're in the fifth round. This is scheduled for 12. I don't think that this can continue, certainly at this pace, for 12 rounds. Somebody's going to go before it's all over. Tony down twice in the first round, down twice more in the second round. Then he drops Freddie in the third round. Both of them had the rubber legs in the fourth. And then the fifth is uh, slowed down a bit, but it's still a pretty good round of boxing. They're working hard. Coming up to the 10 second right now in the fifth round. Closing seconds now. Another good round of boxing. Now. Listen into Tony's uh, corner where they got Sal Lopez Jr. That's his brother who works with him. You got Tony Lopez who's not related to him. Tom Facetti and Jacob Duran all work in there with him. And they've done a nice job in between rounds. You see them putting the end swell on the eyes to keep this guy into this fight. I thought at one stage in the second round, especially Mitch Alpern was either going to stop it or Tony was going to say I've had enough. But he doesn't know the meaning of the word quit. Good fighters in this 140-pound division. As a guy. Frankie Randall, Costa Zoo, David Kamau, Juan Martin Koji, Freddie Pendleton, Julio Cesar Chavez. And both of these guys can fight in the welterweight division, too, as this is the USBA welterweight championship fight. They're actually in at the junior welterweight uh, level. All right, this is the sixth round now, scheduled for 12. Bob Sheridan here on King Vision. Hope you're enjoying our night of boxing around the world. Freddie Pendleton in the red, out in front in the fight on my scorecard anyway. And Tony Lopez giving him all he wants. And this is the type of fight that a guy gets in trouble and it could end it. These guys don't know the meaning of the word quit, as I mentioned before, and uh, have provided the audience in attendance here at the MGM Grand Garden. Not only interesting, but very exciting fight. <laughs> Trying to work to the body is Freddie Pendleton. Tony comes back upstairs. Freddie bangs him to the body downstairs, and Tony finally pushes him off. Wow, with that left hand was Tony. See, uh, one thing with uh, Freddie, he needs to step up when he uses that jab just a little bit more. The first couple of rounds, those jabs were landing. Now they're kind of barring jab when he throws it out there, and they're not uh, setting up the right hand that he wants to land. Now, that, that time he did it properly, and she was able to land the hook coming inside and a, and a right uppercut. You see the time remaining in the sixth round. Pace slowed down just a bit, but the guys are still working very hard out there. Freddie being backed off now. A couple of shots by Tony. Tony's got a long way to go to offset those four knockdowns, though. He scored those rounds 10-7. The two knockdowns in the ball. He had a long way to go. You're six points behind before the seats get warmed up. Watch his head. Come on, watch his head. Keep 
Tony work his hands inside to try and score inside. This is a pretty good round for Tony Lopez. Although you still get the idea that the real heavy punches are and can be landed any time by Freddie. Pelton, a very well conditioned athlete. Of course, 32 Tony's in very good shape. I hey, any of these guys. When they talk about him being 32. Freddie Pendleton, by the way, is 32 as well. So they're both at the stage in the career where they might have one last shot in the title. Oh, the right hand caught in that time by Tony. Closing seconds now, the sixth round. Both of these guys have such tremendous arm as the bell ends of the sixth round that when they get hit, it gives them an adrenaline rush and they fight back even harder. And with different times during the course of this fight when the legs have been totally shot, somehow or other the condition, they've just been able to reach down to where only really champion athletes can and pull themselves together in order to continue in this fight. Tough fight for both guys. You see uh, Pendleton uh, scoring a pretty good shot here. Bang, that right hand there. And I thought that uh, if it was earlier in the fight and he was a little bit fresher, Tony would have gone with that one. But some of this thing has been taken out of the hands, arms, legs, and uh, I suppose mind of Freddie Pendleton. This is worked on by uh, Al Bernini and Al Gavin he has in his corner, Tom Torino also, and Rick Askew all worked that corner of Freddie Pendleton. Freddie fighting a nice fight so far. I get him out in front of the halfway mark, 58-52. This is the seventh round of a scheduled 12-round USBA championship fight. Freddie Pendleton in red to the right of your screen, pushing out Tony Lopez with the flag killer trunks. Tony facing you. Both guys showing a lot of heart, a lot of courage throughout the course of this fight. Both guys have been down. Tony down four times in the first two rounds. Freddie down in the third round. Both of them shaken in the fourth at different stages. And in the fifth and sixth round, each individual was able to score different shots at different times to semi get his opponent in a bit of trouble. You see Freddie having to hang on his Tony bangs inside. Tony on the assault right now, backing Freddie up. Freddie's got that jaw hit a little bit, which is indicative of that fatigue. Nice job being done by the third man in the ring, Mitch Halper. This has been a tough fight. Lopez comes forward, the right hand short by Pendleton. He tries to load up that right hand. Instead, he walks into the right hand. Another one by Tony. And now Freddie backs off, ducks underneath the left hand. And Tony's kind of falling behind him. If he didn't have kept his feet in his balance, which is so important in every sport, he might have been able to get Freddie off his feet. And now let's see if what uh, I've been saying is true. Does the adrenaline rush come and feel as Freddie come back and stop this assault? Tony Lopez, a veteran pro, knows that he can catch this guy if he gets lucky. And if he does, he can vault him right back into the championship picture again. And that's what he wants to end his career. One more shot at a pretty good payday to end his career. And, of course, if he got lucky, he'd love to retire as a champion. In his way, Felix Freddie Pendleton, who has no intentions of letting Tony Lopez lift his belt buckle from him for the USBA championship. An exchange of punches in there. Nice combination. And look at the way Tony is just loading up shots here. And now Freddie comes back. Yes, the adrenaline rush does come when he gets in. But there's a look of concern in the face of Freddie Pendleton that wasn't there earlier in the fight. That's fatigue. Both of these guys have got to be in tremendous condition. Been a heavy pace to this fight. Legs okay by Freddie as you watch him the right hand. This has been the best round by far for Tony Lopez. Tony Lopez had a real good six round going, but I scored it even in the end. But this is definitely Tony Lopez's round. Right hand catches him. The bell ends and they want to keep going. Woo! In 
the corner with Tony Lopez, the former three time world champ. That guy was down twice in the first, down twice in the second. And look at this action here is it the seesaw battle, the uppercut catches him, then Freddie comes back. Remember, I said, you know, these guys get hit that gets an adrenaline rush going and they just fight even harder. Neither one knows what it means to quit. And this is the very end of the round. The bell sounds, and these guys want to keep right on going. They, you'd think at this stage of the fight that three minutes would be enough, but they have to be separated by the referee, Mitch Alpern. And now for Freddie Pendleton, it's a situation where he doesn't want this thing to turn around because he won the first couple of rounds. He dropped the third round. He won the fourth, fifth, and uh, the sixth round was fairly even, but that was Lopez's round. Who scores the first one here in the uh, eighth round? Freddie Pendleton to the right of your screen with those jabs. And Tony Lopez walks into a right hand. And now, can Freddie capitalize on this? Tony tries to hang on and prevented himself from going down to the canvas. He was having a good right hand shot. Mitch Halpern watching very closely. And that's it. He stopped the fight. It's all over. It's kind of too bad it had to end that way, but that's a judgment call. The referee saw Tony Lopez taking a lot of headshots and didn't want him to take any more. You hear the crowd reaction, they don't like it because of the fact that Tony Lopez was actually in the process of coming back. He scored an even round, I thought, in the sixth. He may have won it on some scorecards. And the seventh round, Lopez actually won. And then 43 seconds into the eighth, the referee stops the fight. But he didn't want that man to take any more headshots. That's a judgment call that only the referee can make. And I wouldn't fight with him at this stage. Let's watch it. You watch the right hand that he gets caught with. Bang. You see that? That's a real good shot. And that's the one where Mitch Halpern decided at that point, I don't want this guy to take any more headshots. And he catches him by the ear there. Straight left hand, another right hand by the ear. Mitch looking to stop it right now. Another one up behind. He says, that's it. I just don't want him to take any more headshots. And while Tony, you can see the look of disgust on his face there, you can realize in this man's joy why Tony was so upset. And not that he expressed the fact that he was really upset, but that it was just a controversial sort of ending after a brilliant fight. Let's go up to our ring announcer, Jimmy Leonard Jr., and get the final decision. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the time of 43 seconds in round at number eight. The referee in charge, Mitch Halpern, stops the contest. The winner by way of technical knockout and still the USBA junior welterweight champion, fearless Freddie Pendleton. So that's the story here from the MGM. Phyllis Freddie Pendleton retains his USBA Junior Welterweight Championship, 140 pound division, with a technical knockout in the eighth round and a very difficult fight for both Freddie Pendleton and Tony Lopez, but a brilliant win for Freddie Pendleton.